LinkedIn has account warnings, restrictions, and bans. Here's how to completely avoid all of them. So there are different severities of LinkedIn restrictions in four different ways your profile can get restricted. First, it's typically like three strikes and you're out. LinkedIn will give you a warning, whether it's via pop-up on LinkedIn or email. And in some cases, they'll restrict you so you can't send more invites or you have to use an email when you go to invite someone on LinkedIn and things like that. But let's run through the four different types of restrictions. First, there's using too many different IPs or logging in from multiple loca locations. Then there's too much activity at the same time on LinkedIn. So they're basically detecting bot activity or there's more than you're sending too many messages. So we believe that to be about 100 connection requests um, per week. And then the last one is getting reported by someone for um, something that goes against LinkedIn's terms of services. So first is different IPs. If you have VAs or someone logging into your account, they may boot one or both of you out. Typically, that's not even a warning. It's just you have to re-log in and re-get a login code, which can be annoying. Typically, they won't ban for that, but it can compound, compound and add to the other reasons to get your profile hurt. Um, the second one is too much activity at the same time. So if you're running like if you're scraping LinkedIn for emails or something like that, you don't want to be in there hanging out, reading posts, writing things. You want to keep it to like one action at a time. So you're not, so LinkedIn isn't detecting all this like multiple activity from different sources. Okay. The third one is sending too many connection requests. Typically you'll get a warning by LinkedIn that says literally something like you sent too many um, invites this week and they'll have a cool down period. So you have to wait another week. Typically that's not going to lead to a ban or actually it never really leads to a ban. That's just LinkedIn telling you to, to send less messages. A hundred is very natural for a sales rep to send without any automation. So, um, we always encourage our clients to send about 100 connection requests per week. Okay. And no more than like 25 to 30 per day. The next one is getting reported. This is the typically the fastest way to actually get your LinkedIn profile banned. Um, the, the way to avoid this is to not send spam and just to be nice on the platform. So when you're pitching someone in a connection request or follow up, do not be overly salesy. Do not include a bunch of random links and do not keep your message long. Our best messages are literally one to four sentences, typically one to three sentences. So keep it very short, unsalesy, personalize it, actually read people's LinkedIn profiles and you will not get reported. So um, all of those things will absolutely keep your account safe. The only people getting banned are like spray and praying, super spammy messages um, and like using like five different tools on their profile. But most people, if they just use the platform for its intended use to network. Um, it's so totally okay to sell. It's totally okay to pitch and be on there all day hanging out. As long as you're not doing all this extracurricular, you know, activity, you'll be more than okay.